The impeachment trial of President Trump tonight, day two, and now the Democrats up first. Making their case, they get 24 hours over three days to do this. They are arguing at this hour the president abused his power, they say, trying to get Ukraine to announce an investigation into the Bidens and withholding USA that had already been passed by Congress. Lead manager Adam Schiff arguing the president should be removed from office and trying to convince key moderate Republican senators to allow for witnesses in the trial to make it a fair trial, he says. Tonight, the president's team already responding and ABC's Mary Bruce on the Hill. In the Senate chamber today, the Democratic prosecutors invoking the words of Alexander Hamilton, saying the framers warned against a president like a Donald man, Trump. Unprincipled in private life, desperate in his fortune, bold in his temper, possessed of considerable talents, known to have scoffed in private at the principles of liberty. Chairman Adam Schiff saying the president's push to convince Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden is exactly the kind of scenario the framers feared. They fear that a president would subvert our democracy by abusing the awesome power of his office for his own personal or political gain. Democrats say the president withheld nearly $400 million in military aid to serve his own political needs. The president used the whole of military aid as leverage to pressure Ukraine to announce these investigations that he hoped would help his reelection campaign. The president, it appears, was watching from Air Force One. Just 30 minutes later, Trump tweeting, no pressure. In a series of methodical speeches, the Democrats laid out their case, arguing the facts are not in dispute. They can't contest the facts. The president was the key player in the scheme. Everyone was in the loop. He directed the actions of his team. He personally asked a foreign government to investigate his opponent. Democrats warned the president must be removed from office to protect the 2020 election. The president went to extraordinary lengths to cheat in the next election. The Democrats say the evidence paints a, quote, overwhelming and damning picture and are imploring Republicans to let them call additional witnesses the White House has blocked. Only then, they say, will the world know the full extent of the president's wrongdoing. You will hear from witnesses who have not yet testified, like John Bolton and Mick Mulvaney. And if you can believe the president's words last month, you will also hear from Secretary Pompeo. You will hear their testimony at the same time as the American people. That is, if you allow it. But that remains an open question tonight. Mary Bruce live at the Capitol. And Mary, as Democrats there, try to convince those moderate Republicans to allow for witnesses. Uh, the president's defense team already prepared to argue against that. And tonight, they're already vowing to challenge the facts already presented today. David, throughout this entire day, the president's team has had to sit silently in the chamber. They say that they are now revising their defense based on what they have heard from the Democrats and, of course, how the president reacts. David. That's right. They have to sit through three days of this before they make their case. Mary Bruce, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.